Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to be looking at a slide of an artery and vein. And so what you're seeing here at very low magnification, this is 40x total magnification, is this set of blood vessels here. So on the right-hand side, where the pointer is right now, is the artery. And on the left-hand side is the vein. Now you can clearly see some differences between these two structures. Um, on the right-hand side, the artery, you can see the lumen is fairly wide open. It is not collapsed. It's relatively round. Uh, you can also very clearly see that the wall of this artery is fairly thick. So what you're looking at here, where I'm pointing to with the pointer, is the tunica media. Now near the surface where the endothelium would be, and again at this magnification you really can't see the endothelium, but you can kind of make out that there's kind of a dark outline. It's kind of a wavy band of material. And this is the internal elastic membrane. In this case, the internal elastic membrane has been stained, and so you can actually see the elastic fibers relatively well in this case. And so again, this is the artery, tunica media, and then we have the tunica dentitia beyond this. Now if we head over to the left-hand side of this structure, or this group of structures, this is the vein. And so again, what we're seeing here is a fairly collapsed lumen so fairly irregularly shaped sort of structure and then you really don't see the same sort of level of thickness of the tunica media in fact you can barely see that there's a tunica media here the closest you can come to seeing it at this magnification is just down here right there this very thin region is the tunica media and everything beyond this this region right here would be the tunica dentitia Okay, and so this would be classified as a medium-sized artery and a medium-sized vein. Now, down below the vein is an ar another artery here, and again, I can tell this is an artery because it's a fairly thick wall and, again, a fairly round lumen here. Okay, and so even if you look at this, this is the tunica media of this small artery. So again, from here to here is the tunica media. And so you can see that this tunica media is actually thicker than the tunica media of the artery above that. Okay. Now you'll also find a few other structures on this slide. For example, this right here is a nerve. Here's another nerve. Here's a smaller nerve bundle here and here. There's two more of those just to the right of this artery here and here, a couple of more nerve bundles, a couple more of them up here, and a larger one up at the top here. You also see a lot of adipose tissue in this area. All of this here is adipose tissue, and within this adipose tissue we see some vessels. They kind of look like blood vessels. They are filled with fairly eosinophilic material, and these are in fact lymphatic vessels. When we do zoom in, you will notice that the material in here is not cellular. Uh, it's mostly protein, this is lymph. Um, but I will want to look at one of these structures, this one specifically, because when you zoom in on this, you will actually see that there's a set of valves visible here. Okay, so um, lymphatic vessels have very similar structure to veins, and so they will also have valves, and so you will see examples of that in here, okay? So let's take a look at this slide at higher magnification. So we're going to go to 100x total magnification first. Okay, so here we are. Okay, and so again, we can see very clearly uh, the pointers are pointing at the lumen of the artery. You can see at the very surface of this artery, you can see this kind of a dark outline that is the internal elastic membrane. On the surface of that, on the inner surface of that, is the endothelium, which at this magnification you really can't see. And then below this, from here to here, is the tunica media. Okay, so tunica media. And then from here outwards is the tunica dentitia. Okay, and you can see some of this kind of wavy bands of dark material. Those are elastic fibers. Okay. Now 
as you can see here, the tunica media is the thickest part of this wall. The tunica adventitia is right here. Okay, so you can see here this is the artery, and again the accompanying vein right here. Again, you can probably look down here. Is probably the best place to look for tunica media. And again, tunica media is probably from here to here. That's a very thin layer, uh, very few layers of smooth muscle here. And then beyond this, this is all tunica adventitia of this blood vessel. Again, here's for comparison, the small artery that I showed you earlier. And again, you can see You can see very clearly that we have a fairly wide open lumen and we have right there where the pointer is. Let me see if I can get that into a bit better focus for you. That's the pointer. Okay, I'll just go back to focusing on the actual slide. Okay, so the pointer is outlining for you. From here to here roughly that's the tunica media. And again, it is thicker than it is in the wall of the um, vein above this. Okay. And right here is likely to be the accompanying vein to go along with this small artery. So this will be a small vein. And again, you really don't see much detail here, this magnification, unfortunately. But it is a much thinner wall. And then up above, again, adipose tissue up here and then we have a bunch of lymphatic vessels again they are filled with eosinophilic material and that is the lymph and that's what we will see in a moment when you zoom in and again we have a few of these vessels that actually show that there's kind of cellular material inside and these are the valves so let me see if I can zoom in a bit more so let's go to 400x So again, you can see here, this material is very clearly, fairly acellular, it's fairly smooth staining material. This is just mostly fluid, that's the lymph. Okay, so that's how we know we're looking at lymphatic vessels. The lumen is filled with lymph, there's very few cells. In fact, if I look very carefully here in this one, you'll see lots of lymph here. But if you look over here carefully, you see that there are five nucleated cells. And it's likely that those might be lymphocytes. And again, those will be really the only cells. White blood cells will be really the only cells circulating through the lymphatic system. Now over here in this lymph vessel, you can actually see some endothelial cells going into the interior. And so this structure at the point right here is one of the valves that you may have read about or heard about in lecture that you would find in lymphatic vessels as well as veins. So here's one that has some obvious valves. There's another one here somewhere. I remember seeing it earlier. Where are you? It's one of the problems with trying to find things at high magnification. It's difficult to really identify things. You have a much smaller field of view here. I know there was another one with lymphatic vessels. Oh, there it is. Okay, so here's another one with valves. And there's another one with a valve as well. So you can see the valve very clearly here, closing off from another part. So there's one of the chambers of the lymphatic vessel. Here's the other one. Okay, and again, lots of adipocytes all around in the tissue around the outside. Okay, so we'll stop here with this slide and move on to another one.